So a few things I learned about Gauss cans over the years is you do not want to use a metal barrel. You need to use something that's plastic or glass or something that isn't metal. Because if it's metal, the magnetic flux will actually go through the barrel and reduce the amount of magnetic flux going through the projectile so it will not become as magnetized and therefore you will not achieve the same velocity. Something else I've learned is you should have metal surrounding the outside of the coil. It, on this one I just have the two washers at either end and when I put it inside like a mount I'll put metal around the washers so the magnetic flux will travel more efficiently on the outside of the coil. Also something I've learned is if you want to reduce the friction of the projectile in the barrel you should use graphite inside the barrel that will allow the projectile to move more smoothly through the tube. I also found out that you should use a lower gauge when it comes to the copper enameled wire here because if you have a thin gauge you're actually going to have a higher resistance so that will reduce the amount of current that can flow through your coil so that's important. And when it comes to your projectile you want to use something that has a high amount of iron in it because iron is the most permeable to magnetic flux out of all of the elements significantly so you want to use something that has a lot of iron and this is a nail that I cut down and grinded so I have a nice sharp tip on it and a nice short length and I actually got this to go through a soda can or if you're from the Midwest a pop can this is another kind of projectile you can use it's a blow dart uh, without the back cap so it's made out of iron clearly because it's rusting and it works very well and you also have quite a bit of length so you have less wobble on the projectile so it has a little more accuracy these ones are interesting. I found these out in the garage. They're really old school nails. They're square and they don't have that little head on the back so you don't have to worry about the initial exit from the barrel being all off center because of that. And that sums up pretty much what I know about barrels, projectiles, and coils.